Hello students. What we're going to learn today is, what is a point? A line, a line segment, a plane, and a ray. These are very helpful geometric constructions that'll help us analyze the world around us. So the first thing, a point. What's the point? Well, a point is a singular point in space. So for example, this would be point C right here. Oh, hello, point C. Point C is just one point in space. Next, we have a line. And a line, like line CD here, goes infinitely in either direction. So that's why you see the arrows going off infinitely in either direction. Next, we have a line segment. Now, a line segment is similar to a line, but it has definite endpoints. So if we had line CD again, zzzz, instead of having arrows at the end, you'd see that there are the two points at the end that signify that that line segment ends and has a definite length. Next, we have a plane. Now, a plane is pretty cool because it's actually defined as three non-collinear points. And what I mean by that is that the points don't make a line, they are non-collinear, they don't make the same line. So here we would have points C, D, and E, and that creates a plane. And a plane you can think of as something that goes off infinitely in every direction but has no thickness. Finally, a ray. A ray is really interesting because when you think of it, well, what's the best known ray in the world? The sun is pretty hot. The rays from the sun warm our planet. So here we have the sun and it has a ray extending that ray of sunshine infinitely toward our solar system. So how does that help us in geometry? Well, the sun is right here and it has a definite end point, right? So like the sun is the beginning of the ray and then it goes infinitely in one direction. So a ray is where you have an endpoint, but then an arrow at the end to signify that it goes on forever. Those are the five main constructions in geometry. A point, a line, a line segment, a plane, and a ray. Thanks for watching.